hypothetically, I wish I was. I would put Aquaman as sort of the face for the DC Extended Universe. I, I would do that. I know a lot of people are like, you're sexist. You know, what's wrong with a woman being the face of the product? There's nothing wrong with it. But let's be honest. Aquaman, Aquaman films were, it was fun. It was a fun movie. It was exciting, cool. I seen it in theaters. I even have a popcorn bucket. Because <laughs> I just thought it was a cool popcorn bucket. I have like pens and pencils in there. So, but I have a Batman popcorn bucket, which I, which I love. I got that at Six Flags, by the way. I had to like walk across the entire fucking park to get it. And after I got it, I just left the park. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. (laughs) But anyway, I would put Aquaman as the face of the DC Extended Universe. The reason of it is, they're saying Harley Quinn, is because Matt Reeves stated that Batman films are separate from the DC Extended Universe. Which, you know that fans are going to jump off the extended universe bandwagon and go where Batman is going. It's a fact. Like rumors of J.J. Abrams being involved in Superman. People are going to go where the big name characters are. They're going to go where Batman goes. And it's like, when this film comes out, when they say like, Batman isn't around in Gotham and this film people are going to turn on it. They're going to turn on it fast and quick and be like nope. No. No. They ain't going to want anything to do with it. It's like how are you going to put a Gotham City product without Batman? I know it's different with Batwoman even though it looks like shit in my opinion. I even read the synopsis of it and the creator of the show's approach to it. And I was like, this is shit. This isn't quality. You're basically creating a political piece in a comic show. Which they've been doing that a lot lately. Especially with the CW-verse. I don't know why, but, you know, politics don't sell in comics anymore. I don't know how many times people had to beat the fucking head in at Marvel be like, this doesn't sell. It doesn't work. But anyway. Um, so anyway, I had to read the article. I don't feel like reading it, so... Uh, let's see... It seems to be too perfect as all parts of gardening the scheme of part of the Warner Brothers at least is bringing Harley Quinn as the face of the DC Universe. Recently they re- raised the question, who wants to see more Harley Quinn? Eh, not me. Um. <laughs> I really don't. I'd be honest, like they're doing that stupid Harley Quinn show where I'm just like... Like, out of the cartoons, you had to make Harley Quinn. Like I'd I be honest, I really don't want to see the show. But I will give my review and... <sighs> you know, ask the question of, what have I done to this world? <laughs> so... According to knowledge, is the WB's direction is shifting to make Harley Quinn the face of the DC Extended Universe. Margot Robbie's comment about Harley Quinn is making DC films less male a look and more universal for women and minorities. 
She made Harley Quinn, she stated, quote, making Harley Quinn for the Birds of Prey costume less male gazy, meaning she doesn't want men to look at Harley. Uh, here's a question I got from a listener. Why is Jared Leto not involved in Suicide Squad? Well, what I've heard is Leto and James Gunn don't like each other. This one broke my heart right here. Paul Rudd's Ant-Man 3 has been canceled by Disney. That one broke my heart. <laughs> like, I, I love the first two Ant-Man films. Ant-Man and Ant-Man and Wasp. I... That just broke my heart. Like, I was just like, oh, I'm so fucking excited for a third Ant-Man film. And all of a sudden... Cancelled. It really just... Like, there's been rumors and speculations that... Also, that Deadpool 3 is cancelled... Which I don't know if it's true. Um, I think it's kind of ridiculous. Kevin Smith speculates that Nathan Fillion will be playing Green Lantern in James Gunn's The Suicide Squad film. Henry Cavill has hinted that he's still attached to do another Superman film. Rihanna recently addressed the rumors that she might be playing Poison Ivy in the Batman film. She's not. Um, <laughs> Alexandria Daddario is in, talks about playing Catwoman for the DC Extended Universe. Ah, shit. Henry Calvo has been approached by Kevin Feige on playing Cyclops. Shit, I would, I would pay to see that film. kind of don't see her playing Catwoman. She's in that one show with Lucy Liu and it looks like shit. I don't see her playing it. She has big ass eyes for sure. <laughs> I I don't want to see her play Catwoman. I'd be honest. I don't want Catwoman with giant eyes. <laughs> Just my opinion. Um, I don't I, I don't know who I want to see play Catwoman. To be quite honest. Probably my producer. She'd be great as Catwoman. Well, she is Catwoman. But, I don't know, it's kind of hard to pick an actress to play Catwoman. Because, you have to find the chemistry between Pattinson's Batman and the actress that will play Catwoman. You look at Michael Keaton and Michelle Pfeiffer. It worked. You look at Julie Newmar and Adam West. They were perfect together. You look at Hathaway and Christian Bale. They they got it, but it didn't go further. But my favorite part was Talia al Ghul dying in that in that film. You look at um, 
even the animation between the voice actor and actress who played Batman and Catwoman, it was perfect in the animated series. It was perfect in the Gotham by Gaslight. You have to find the perfect dynamic, the lightning in the bottle. You have to capture that magic in film for Batman and Catwoman. And for me, it's just like, it wouldn't work. Like, Alexandria Daddario, she'd be great as Lois Lane with Zac Efron as Superman, in my opinion. They'd be great together. Because they were good in um, what that one film was. The um, Baywatch. I watched part of the clips of it, and I was just like, this film's fucking dumb. <laughs> It was actually the worst film Dwayne Johnson has ever done, in my opinion. But with Catwoman, you have to find the right actress for Pattinson to play off of in the film. I know a lot of people are like, Kristen Stewart's just like, no. I don't want a Catwoman that has just a blank expression on her face. <laughs> so, I mean, for me, I, I think, um, I'm going to throw this out there. I think Emma Watson, she'd be good as Catwoman. I mean, she's batshit crazy, but, yeah, I see it working, but, but anyway, um, Let's see. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh no way! A power generator. I'm sorry. I'm just looking up. I was on Amazon. I'm like, look, I was looking at like power generators. A solar generator, holy shit. I'm adding it to my favorites. Good for outdoor camping, travel, hunting, and emergency in case of a storm. Oh shit. Wow, it's like a pocket power generator. I wonder if you could plug it into a... Uh, you can plug it into your laptop, a drone, an LED light, air pump. Holy shit, you can plug it into a refrigerator. Note to self, buy a power generator. I was like preparing when... <laughs> It'd be good to take anywhere. Shit, you could take it camping... Holy crap, they got pan solar panels. That's what we need. We we need that. We need a solar panel. Oh, fuck. Currently unavailable. Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> you have to prepare yourself in case of crazy shit. Yeah. You have to prepare yourself. Anyway. AEW has announced their new name for their Wednesday show. Wednesday Dynamite. Kind of sounds like Nitro. Oh yeah, Frank Miller. I forgot to mention. Frank Miller has announced his next Batman book. Dark Knight Returns, The Golden Child. I, when I heard about it, I shared it with the producer of the show, and I was like, oh my god, isn't this exciting? I love you more. And I looked at it. I looked at the, the article, 
the artwork. I don't know if I want to buy it. I mean...